So does this tool help us, besides looking at an operating network, you talked about network planning. How can we look at kind of what-if scenarios? Do you, I'm assuming that's what you're going to talk about next. Yeah, no, that's, that's a great question, Chris. On the, the network planning side, as I mentioned, we can take the network uh, right from where we were. So when we talk about network planning, let's look at um, the, the event that we just saw where we had a couple of link outages, and now we want to do some what-if analysis to see if we can improve the resiliency of the network by adding a link, for instance. Here in this case, I'm going to select the topology planning from our planning menu. That's going to take me into our planning uh, module. And as I move there, you'll see now I'm, I'm looking at my, my same view. I can see my traffic uh, configuration, my services. So I'm actually modeling, you know, this particular service that we were troubleshooting between Chicago and L.A., now I'm going to do an add a link. So what I've done is I've clicked here on the add button. I've selected the JFK P142 as my start point and LAX P102 there is highlighted. And now I hit the next button. In this case, I'm going to accept the defaults for my OSPF area, but you could set metrics. You can make your edits and changes here as you'd like. And you'll notice what happens on this path as we've added this link here between these two red pins is the forward uh, path has been impacted, but the return path has not. It's still running on a TE tunnel. That's why we see the TE tunnel icon. And it's still taking this longer congested route. We can actually look at the impacts here as I've made this change, and we can kind of see what's going on. So I click here on the impact. It'll actually provide me a very quick summary of how many routes and prefixes have changed within the environment because of that change. So here was a very simple change of adding a link. Maybe I, I want to make 10 or 15 different changes. You can and model, you know, before you do a, a change window and perform those actions, you can actually model them in the product. And then you can read a report to see, uh, is it having the adverse impacts that you did not expect? Are we moving particular prefixes or something else? Are there things that are being black holed? Are there tunnels that are impacted? All of that here in a, a very quick summary. Now notice, I, I noticed that there is an impact that, and it's, it's asymmetric. There looks like there's some prefixes that are not being impacted. Let's look and see. And in fact, as I mentioned, there's a tunnel here causing that. We can actually go in and edit that tunnel. So I'm going to sit here, click on tunnel, edit my tunnel right quick. Uh, here it's the tunnel 10222. It kind of tells me exactly that from our uh, configuration knowledge. And then I'm going to edit that, apply that change, and we'll see exactly how that traffic responds. So in fact, if I was going to relieve traffic by adding a new transport link between JFK and LAX, I would need to make sure that I change the configuration for the tunnel as well as adding these links uh, for my network. Now, Matt, okay. this is this is offline planning. I mean, it's an online interface here, but you're not making actual changes to the network right now, right? You're saying, if I did this, what would happen, and then modeling it, correct? So in the, the live operational network, we haven't touched anything at this point. Is that correct? That is correct. So you get to actually see what the outcome would be before you do the change. The other uh, advantage of being monitoring in real time, millisecond by millisecond, is as you do make those changes on your network, because we are connected with the control plane, we can actually see all of the changes happening. So just as we saw here, as you made your first change and turned it up, you should expect, hey guys, we're gonna have an asymmetric path. We need to go back and, and make sure and edit that tunnel. And, and the product will reflect as you move through those changes, the exact same stages as you saw in the, in, as you modeled it in, in the planning mode. So many of our service providers, having worked with them on a daily and weekly basis, what we see oftentimes there's, there will be a, a data extract from their network. There will be like a daily or weekly or even in some cases a monthly kind of download of what are the routes, what are the links into a spreadsheet, and then that goes to the engine group off, offline. But with those type of uh, methods and processes, that data be can become dated or out of date very quickly. So what you're saying is at any point in time we're doing the planning, we're going to pull a real-time snapshot of the network and do a planning function on what it actually looks like today, not a spreadsheet from a week ago. Is, is that right? That's correct. And not only can we show you what it is today, but we can also show you what we expect, right? So depending on, you know, the time of day, you could have a very different set of traffic levels between, you know, Saturday at 9 and a Friday at 4. You have the ability to navigate to whichever time frame you want 
and then be able to do the simulations and all the modeling very simply, as, as we showed here, just being able to edit the time and move time, being able to single click on each of these and be able to add a, a link, a node, or, or change a prefix, for instance.